All right, well, I've been having a lot of fun lately building G.I. Joe, you know, 118 scale bases. And uh, this is the same kind of thing going on here. And so I like the idea of having those, these little desert outposts for the action figures. The other problem is they take up a lot of space, though, so uh, I can't keep them around for long because they're on my work desk, my workbench. But while it's up, I will show it to you. I was at the G.I. Joe convention, as I mentioned, and I got this cool little G.I. Joe checkpoint, which I customized and I colored interesting colors and added things to it. So that looks good. Created a little road with my truck on it. This is my newest Marauder Gunrunner figure. He's uh, turned out well, I think. I uh, got some sandbags out front. All right, and this is the inside of the base. It's got a little watchtower right there. Porta potty, of course. You gotta have a porta potty. Gotta have somewhere to use the bathroom. Now we've got this Marauder gun runner up here. She's being sheltered by this little shelter thing, which is another GI Joe thing I got at the um, GI Joe convention. And so I created this custom house for them to hang out in. Little work area and I'll go inside it in just a few moments after I show you the outside of everything. Uh, it's got two uh, Humvees parked in the parking lot and a gate. Uh, this is made out of something called Gutter Guard that you can pick up at any Lowe's hardware and um, it makes a perfect uh, fence for your G.I. Joe basis and it's inexpensive so you could like buy a whole bunch of it if you had space for a very large G.I. Joe base, you could use it for that. Then, of course, I've got my shipping containers over here with the little target on them. A little flame for cooking the pot. Got to have your water barrels right there. And then these Humvees, which I think turned out really well. Very happy with those. Okay, now we will go... Oh, yes, one last thing is this crow's nest. Uh, crow's turret in a nest so that uh, you can view all around the area from a high vantage point to see if anyone's trying to attack you like zombies or whatever and then you can shoot them if you need to <laughs> that's fun all right oh yeah one other thing that this uh, base building has is an air conditioner because you're out in the desert so you need it Got some little details down there, sandbags and such. This is modeled after um, a little domicile unit, um, and uh, it had sandbags all around it. All right, so this is the inside of the base. You got your guys on their computers doing various mission activities. Got the air conditioner and the windows. It's just a poster board with uh, 3D printed windows that can go on both sides. There's the door, there's a locker, there's the uh, medical kit, and a little coffee pot, weapons containers, and food. And then more explosives, and a bunk bed, and then a bed down below, and then a rolled up uh, bed sheet. So yeah, that is it. Super happy with how it turned out. And as always, thank you for watching.